But you're going to bed before November, don't you? Maybe. The, the King mat mattress is, I think that's what you're going around. I don't know. Um, I think you should get a queen bed, but a king is going to cost you on that leg. there oh. so just welcome you back to another vlog if anything all I can say is after I got terminated getting my hair done was the perfect thing because I feel like I had no energy to give my hair like do my hair so a bun every day is literally perfect it is currently a Friday and Oh, when I tell y'all, life just keeps boom, 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 boom. Like something just keeps happening. I got a phone call and unfortunately I lost a friend to gun violence and a little scary, it's a little crazy, but a part of me feels as if like this person is, you have no more worries. Like I hate the way it happened because nobody should go the way they did, but a part of me feels like you're at peace you're at rest i know that's so cliche to say but to be on this earth sometimes and you gotta worry about family you gotta worry about friends you gotta worry about work you gotta worry about insurance you gotta worry about um just a whole bunch of stuff trying to keep your good character you know trying to keep your mind together it's a lot it's gone too soon too young and it breaks my heart it really does take my work from home stuff back and then i'm going to go purchase some flowers and some cards and meet their parents at their viewing and then tomorrow I gotta go to a funeral today I still have to go to work tomorrow I have to go to work um at the part-time job like life is just life is just so uncertain and you just never know what's gonna pop up I don't know I just feel like we just shouldn't have guns in this world like guns are the ones it, it's not guns it's the people but people are not always always there and there are some evil people in this world you guys and that's just really really uncertain and it's really really sad that there are some people that are just evil out there so yeah if anything um if you're seeing this just drop a heart in the comment section um and yeah thank you guys for watching i just feel like ah uh, 
know life is crazy and it's like why do i want to continue to do weekly vlogs why do i want to continue to share it's just like you just never know what's going on in somebody else's life like it can look all so good but behind the scenes it's like it's a piece of you that keeps getting like torn and torn and torn oh you did get it girl we in the 2024 you gotta um they ain't never had a camera yeah it's okay and then if you were it's okay. Okay, so remember when my head goes down, mm -hmm. your head go down. Don't pop it back up until it's over. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait a minute. This mm. ain't. <laughs> Wait a minute. This ain't right. We're having fun and our girl Penny isn't here. A moment of silence, please. Here's to our home girl Penny Crab, who ain't here. Hey. Wait a minute. All right, hand this up. Ain't right. We're having fun and our girl Penny isn't here. A moment of silence, please. Here's to our oh. homegirl, Penny Crab. Grandma! Ain't he? Hey, wait a minute. This ain't right. We're having fun oh, and our girl Penny isn't here. Okay, but don't put your head up. You see how my head still is down? Yeah. Ain't he? You looking up. Like, what's what you looking at? Like, I'm going to turn around here so I hate to stay down. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. See, you with Wait it now. Tell about something. I right. used to be an actor. Please. Wait a minute. This ain't right. We're having fun and our girl Penny isn't here. A moment of silence, please. Here's to our homegirl, Penny Crab, who ain't here. Hey. Wait a minute. You put your this head in. right. Now look up there and see if you see that little Bible. Bow, bow your head. Let me see you bow your head. Do you know how to bow your head? Wait a minute. I'm going to have to get straight now. You, yeah, I'm under. Now bow your head. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. That's You can't do that. Yeah, I'm going to say I wasn't sitting right. I said it. Go on now. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Could have been doing that the whole time. Well, I was Just sitting. Just put your bosoms up. Let them see my bosoms. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Because you eat like a child. Okay, now put your head down. I just want to see what your, your head look like. Put it down. Put your head down. Thank you. That's all. That's that's all I need. That's all we need. All right. Last time. Wait a minute. All right. You ready? Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait a minute. This ain't right. We're having fun and our girl Penny isn't here. A moment of silence, please. Here's to our home girl, Penny Crab, who ain't here. Hey. All right, you put your head down. Right. Okay, put your head down. Penny isn't here. A moment of silence, please. Grandma, why you look like that? Penny Crab. My head. Hey. You got a tan. I got a tan. Yeah. I don't know why I got one. I ain't been out nowhere. You ain't been so. nowhere. Hey, okay, you ready? Don't mess this up. Hurry up now, I'm dizzy. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. This ain't right. Wait a minute. This ain't right. We're having fun and our girl Penny isn't here. A moment of silence, please. Here's to our homegirl, Penny Crab, who ain't here. Hey, wait a minute. This ain't right, right there. I know. You told me that I was, um, I was supposed to be looking for your Bible. Uh, I'm supposed to be looking for your Bible. Yeah, it's a little flat, little old flat book. Girl, you say all these books is flat. No, girl, I'm talking about the small Here, monster. take the hair out yeah, of this and yeah. dump that. Yeah. I see why a lot of vloggers and things like that, they go missing after a good minute and they be like, they come back and be like, life was kicking my ass. Yeah. Because you don't feel like doing this when there's so much going on. I don't even feel like eating. Like, I'm forcing myself to eat because I, I just don't feel like eating. Like, I don't know. I guess it's like, the process of everything, like moving, job search, money, at least on my words, but it's like, I don't like to keep spending when I don't have something consistently, you know, regardless of how much I got saved up. That's not what that is for, you know? I'm forcing myself to eat like thick bread, thick food, sausages, because 
I don't want to pass out. Uh, I also want to talk to you guys about this journaling process I've been doing. First of all, me journaling? Who? But I was gifted this book. It's called Elevate. And it talks about capacity building. And oh, uh, I just love it. So we'll talk about that too. And I just feel empty inside. Like, oh, I hate that for me. It just feels so like hollow. Like I'm just eating just to eat sadly to get myself together. Oh, so after crying my eyes out, we're here back at the apartment only because I was going to go to work. And then I was like, I could just stop by the apartment because my mom put tissue paper in there so I can at least use the bathroom and then change for work. But y'all still hear that? Like this is the space that I see myself using for chit chats, for new chit chats or whatever before I put some stuff in here. But it's that howling. I don't know you guys. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. All I know is this is going to be home for the next couple of months. But the thing is, I always say it don't have to be. I will pay the term fee, whatever. I will pay whatever to move a place at this point. That's why it's important to say. Because when you're ready to go, you're ready to go. But yeah, I'm going to call Alex and get ready for work. If anything, I've had a day. So... Yeah, I said I was gonna see y'all Sunday, but here I am talking to y'all on Saturday. Dress that's so stinking cute, it has pockets. You could just wear it for any special occasion, work, funeral, um, business, birthday party, whatever your heart desires. It's cute. Pockets. Girls love pockets. So I'm on phone cam and it's 9.30 on Friday. I've had a long day. It feels good to just be out and about because I didn't I'm just always at the house. But now everything's changed. But you know, I feel so good. Of course, the news of my friend, I'm sad about that. However, me physically, I feel really, really good because I'm out more versus being at home and working from home and sitting on my butt but um but yeah you know when I feel like that though you know when people are on TikTok and they're like I'm working my 100k job and it's annoying I just want to quit and I just want to work at a coffee shop it's like I get it but some of those people have never worked a server job before like for real for real that are saying that but I get it I don't know it just feels so wholesome being out, being friendly to people, serving people, you feel like you're doing something in the world, but I get it, like, <laughs> I would take that 100K job any day of the week, because I saw somebody that was like, switch with me, switch with me, I want the job, if y'all don't want the job, I want the job, and I 100% get that, but I think this is just what I needed to get out of that work from home routine, like, I don't know. Sleep on the couch. No, that's not happening. That's a nice, that's a nice yeah. looking apartment. Though. Where, where's that at? Don't with ooh. Is that where um, Taylor? No, is? Taylor's is in. Taylor's is in Buckhead. Oh, yeah, okay. Taylor's in Buckhead. She's rich. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. Two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours a night. Hey, so I don't, I don't know where she sleeps. She better slow it down. I yeah, know, or her body will tell her to slow down. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, yep. if anything. All right, but that's, that's a nice apartment. Yeah, yeah it's, so, it's cute. So, so are, there, are, there wedding, are there wedding bells in the in the future? Yeah, for, January. For Miss Ellis? <laughs> oh, okay, I heard, I heard something. I didn't know if it was a rumor. You know, I like to go to the source. I know. every It's a rumor. It's all these type of rumors. Like, y'all don't know nothing. Everybody just right, telling my right, business right. all wrong. I, I, yeah, I, I, I saw something on TMZ that, that, that Brianna was getting married. <laughs> that's, how we, that's how I found out. <laughs> okay. 
He's so dramatic. He's so dramatic. I told I told my family and my friends before I said anything else. So yeah. So oh, I woke up this morning and if y'all know me, y'all know I'm not someone to basically journal, but I was gifted this book and I've actually been using it. And there's actually a journal for this book and an actual um hard copy book, but of course I'm doing the journal. And it's so crazy, like as an adult. Your penmanship, you see how often you write because I was writing in it. I was like, dang, when's the last time I started writing? I'm not one. Well, that's the thing. If I get books, that that's the kind of books that I, those are the kind of books that I like. I like self-improvement. I like motivation, novels. I know some people love like fiction, etc., like book talk, all that type of stuff. But I just can't do it. If the thing is like the fiction books, I have to see it. Like Bridgerton, I couldn't read Bridgerton. Like I would like to see Bridgerton. Like I love looking at um things that are like based in like the 1600s and 1500s. Like I like looking at that. I couldn't read that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically share with you guys the four elements of capacity building and then I'm going to share you guys one of the prompts that I started in. So if you're wondering what capacity building is, it's really like muscle memory. Everything doesn't happen overnight. There are four elements that kind of align with capacity building and self-improvement. First thing is spiritual capacity. It reads, spiritual capacity is about understanding who you are and what you want most and the standards you want to live by each day. Next one is intellectual capacity. It is about how you improve your ability to think, learn, plan, execute with discipline. Next one is physical capacity. Physical capacity is your health, your well-being, and physical performance. The next one is emotional capacity. It is how you react to challenging situations, your emotional mindset, and the quality of your relationships. Capacity building starts with these four elements. So what I'm going to do is read a prompt from the journal because it goes through the four elements but then each four element has a journal prompt for each different week and then the back of the journal you have like a bunch of notes that you can put down i've always wondered when people do journaling like where do you start off with journaling you just basically say how you're feeling or what are your thoughts for the day i only journal when i was going through a bad breakup like years back i just every single day i had different feelings so i would write those feelings down and when i absolutely felt nothing i threw the whole book away but when people do daily journaling like really real life question like what are you guys doing are you guys doing a prompt or are you guys just doing it off the dome like what are you guys doing so like i said i'm in the spiritual um capacity area and this prompt reads this week think about what fulfills you the only way you can build your spiritual capacity is to take time to deeply reflect on what matters most to you ask yourself some of these questions what would you work unpaid for what are you doing when you feel fully engaged? When are you not at your best? What sort of values or characteristics do others have that drive you crazy? Write them down and start to draw lines between similar concepts. Now, the only one I wanna tell you guys is what I basically would do for work. I mean, what I would do if a dollar amount wasn't connected to it, like basically working with children. Um, working with children, having conversations with loved ones, children, and I recently, like I said, I started at that country club and I do child care sometimes and it really does fulfill me. Those kids run crazy. They run wild. There's no like discipline in the den, but that's what it's called, like the den, but it fulfills me and I've been saying that for so long. I'm like, I miss children. Like I miss kids. I miss seeing like their cute little faces and knowing what's going on in school. Like I love seeing their little shoes love kids so starting back at the dolphin den like regardless of the pay i didn't care i'm like put me in this atmosphere and the fact that i only do it like twice a week three times a week um it's awesome i was thinking about working in some other departments right now since i'm kind of i have free time um just to get like me a good schedule of monday through friday but i don't want to be so consistent in that and then something full-time pops up and then i have to pull my my promise to them because it's like once i say yes to something i want to fully commit and i hate that i really do hate that because i said that i'm not my best when i'm doom scrolling or i'm always on my phone scrolling on my phone i'm not the best when i'm always on my phone <clears throat> scrolling on your phone can make you like and that's why i tell myself like maybe you should just get back on youtube because youtube isn't as bad i feel like when i'm on the other platforms i'm encouraging doom scrolling <laughs> like instagram cool because instagram is like a cute little resume at this point but like TikTok and all of that, it's like you're adding to the doom scrolling and people are on their phones. Like that's the first thing people pick up 
they're on their phone and I'm not my best when I am on my phone just scrolling because if you know me I wake up pretty early and nowadays if I wake up early I really grab my phone and I'm just scrolling when in reality I'm typically up and I'm doing things like being productive but that's that but I need to honestly do another like TikTok cleanse etc like a yeah just a TikTok cleanse the only skirt from Shein that has lasted me a good bit and I'm gonna just put my flats on no makeup and that's it honey because I can't because I cry every time so I mean it's no point no point no point no point no point and the church that I'm going to is um Word of Faith which is down the street like I've seen that church grow into so much I truly want to go to like a smaller church and be more um be more active in the church if that makes sense i feel like with mega churches no one really knows like who's who and that just kind of defeats the purpose of like community in a sense you know i'm gonna be in traffic regardless <sighs> if you're in atlanta if you've ever been to word of faith first of all i like my pastors with a suit on you know what i'm saying i need them with gray hair i don't know i just think all of the churches that I've dabbled in and I've seen, I just can't get with, like the concert style. I can't get with like young pastors. I don't know. I need I need my pastor a little bit seasoned. Word of faith and today's message was just so so good and the the choir was just amazing. Did I cry? Of course I did. That's why I don't wear no makeup. Like of course, I cried and everything. First of all, when I was walking in, I was like, why is my chest just just out? today's message was about money necessarily okay and basically sticking to the to the plan and not the mood because my mood right now I feel so empty aside I don't want to do anything but I told myself no stick to the plan the plan is continue to work this part-time job you know go out and see friends you know go to church still continue to help my grandma as much as I want to bed rot and I want to just mope around I was like no stick to the plan not the mood which is accurate I needed to hear that and he was also talking about like money and how money a lot of people are enslaved to money nowadays and I was like this is true and how if God you know removes something from your life I actually thank him because nine times out of ten when he's removing something to your life he wants you to be closer to him you know just thank him and I'm just like you're right Thank you, because what are we all pissy about? Y'all look who it is! Y'all know it, right? Like seeing the people 
that you went to middle school with and now we're just a little bit older and you still have like a piece of them when they were still in middle school like you see them as adults like we all have our careers and everything we all have our personality but you still remember that little kid when we were in middle school and it's just like ah it's so crazy but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i appreciate you guys so much love you guys 3000 don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye